In this video, we'll be talking about lane positioning. That's coming right up. Hey, it's Sean from Zula Driving School and let's get right into talking about lane positioning. All right, lane positioning. So this is something that they mark you on the road test for, but let's forget the road test for the time being. Let's just talk about why this is important at all times. So when you're driving down the road, you want to stay in the middle of your lane. This can be a bit of a challenge for new drivers as sometimes they will hug the right side of the road and sometimes they will prefer the left side of the road. Now, the way you can correct your lane positioning, there's four things. Number one, when you're sitting in your vehicle, let me draw the inside of a car. That's your steering wheel and this is you and you're looking down at the road. The further down the road you look, the more centered you will be in your lane. So instead of looking in front of you here, which is, does you absolutely no good, you want to look much further down the road where your eye lead time comes into play as well. So if you're looking uh, a block down the road in the city, that will automatically center you as well. So I'm going to write look further down the road. Number two is you can look at your side mirrors. So let me draw you. So when you're driving down the road, like so, you've got your side mirrors, like so. And if you look at these side mirrors, they will show you the lanes as well. And if you see that in one mirror, your lanes are this far away from the body of your car, but in the other mirror, your lanes are here, then you know that you're getting too close to this side and perhaps you should move over to this side of the road a bit more. So I'm gonna say, look at your side mirrors. Number three is when you are looking out your windshield. So let's say this is more or less your windshield and you're seeing the lines of your, your lanes kind of go off like this as it goes off into the distance. But as you're driving, look over to your bottom left corner of your windshield and you'll see the dotted lines will disappear off in this corner. And that will tell you that you're centered in your lane. So if this deviates over here, then you know you moved over to the right too much. Or if this line is now sitting here, then you know you're hugging the left side of the road and you should move over to the right. So when you say, look at the corner of your windshield. This is the left bottom corner. The other thing you can do is when you're driving down the road, so let me draw you the road here, because this is what it's going to look like to you when you're sitting in the car. If, the, if you look further down the road, these lines are kind of going towards each other. And rather than trying to, when you're driving, think about where the center of your car is and put the center in the middle of your lane, you should feel like you're sitting in the middle of your lane. So when you're driving, it should feel like you know, you've got your steering wheel here and this is you, and you're looking down the road here. You should feel like you're sitting in the middle. And with your passengers sitting from where, from where they're looking, they should feel like they're sitting in the middle of the road. It's a trick of the eye, but it actually works. So don't try to compensate and say, well, I should be feeling like I'm sitting over to the left because then that would mean the center of the car is sitting in the center of my lane. No, just look further down the road. And when you look further down the road, do you feel like you're driving in the middle of those two lines? If so, your car is centered. If not, you need to make an adjustment. So let's write this as well. Number four, feel like you are in the middle of your lane. I said road before, but I meant lane. So 
but you should feel like you're staying in the middle of your lane. So those are the four things that can help you figure out your lane positioning and how you can improve it. Now, if you get into the habit of holding the steering wheel like this, or you're holding it kind of skewed, or you're resting your elbow on the side of the, uh, the door there by the window, all of these habits throw off your lane positioning. That's why sometimes see people driving down the road, they will be driving for two blocks and they're just hugging one side of the road. And then you come up at the next light, you stop beside them and you look over and they're holding their steering wheel like this and you're wondering, well, that reflects nicely on how you're driving as well. So I hope this video has been useful to you. If you liked it, feel free to comment, like, or subscribe to our videos on YouTube. In addition, we offer an online video training course available on our website at www zula.ca and in that course we show you actual footage of people's lane positioning and how that affects their driving and how they can improve so be sure to check that out now it's one thing for me to stand here and talk in front of a whiteboard about lane positioning it's another for you to get out there with your co-ed driver or your driving instructor and put this into practice i hope to see you in another video soon